Today, I'm going to show you how I took my old spiritual website, which you can see here, which was declining the SEO traffic, wasn't getting any Google love, and I was about to basically chuck it in the bin and then basically free x this SEO traffic in just 28 days using the AI workflow that I'll show you today. And if you have a website that's getting no traffic or the traffic is declining, you know, for example, you can see with this website, the keywords were going down, the traffic was going down. It was not a good situation for this website. Um, if you're in a similar situation, this AI SEO workflow might help you. And it's a very predictable and repeatable SEO system, as you've probably seen from my other YouTube case studies, basically anyone can use. Plus, I'll show you all the AI SEO systems, SAPs, workflows, and even how to outsource it all for an extremely cheap price based on what's working for me. So you can see, originally the site was only getting 41 clicks per day. Now it's at 113 and that's growing exponentially. So that's nearly a 3x increase. And this is one of our favorite SEO case studies because it's one of the least riskiest ways to do SEO. I mean, if you see that your site's traffic is just going down and declining, it's not really moving anywhere, as you can see like here, then there's basically no downside to using AI because if my website is declining and my human written content was a write-off anyway, and the site just won't rank, for example, like here, you can see the keywords dipped on the chart and then they went back up again after we started using AI. And there's basically no downside to that, right? Because the site's declining anyway, and if it does get hit for using AI content, which could potentially happen, it could get obliterated by an update, then it wasn't getting any Google love anyway. So there's no downside for that. So how did we do this? Well, the first thing we did was, of course, we use good old auto blogging AI, but I've covered that process a lot in my videos. So I'm not going to go too in depth into that, but you can see my other case studies. If you're interested, we blasted a bunch of low competition keywords with a decent volume. And this definitely helped, but we needed a bit more so that's why from the end of June, we started tracking the metrics for the website and the key KPIs that would move the needle forward. And I would highly recommend you do this as well. If you have an SEO website or a project you're trying to recover essentially. So what we did was we set a bunch of KPIs that we want to increase to, and we said, right, each week we need to produce around 50 articles. We're also going to build two backlinks. And a lot of people ask me for a game plan. For SEO, well, this is what worked for me. I mean, if you look at the charts since we started doing this, we started working on this at the end of June, 26th of June right here. And you can see the traffic basically took a big lift after that in just a few weeks. So it's crazy how fast this can potentially work. And like I say, we just built a couple of backlinks each week. Didn't really care about the DR because it's 49, so it's not going to move too much at that level. We focused on an increase in indexing articles each week, although it goes up and down. Honestly, like the, the content is going to be tested if it's AI content and you're producing at such a large volume on a site that was declining and didn't get much fresh content. And then we said, right, each week we want to be increasing the traffic. Now you can see here, the traffic has dropped substantially, but that's just because we've switched from the old Google analytics to GA4. And then the traffic is now increasing every week and it's looking really good. As you can see on top of that, we kept the costs of the content really low using the process I'm about to show you. And I'll show you how to hire someone for an extremely cheap and reasonable price to really scale your content. I mean, if you can produce 50 articles per week around the right keywords, you're absolutely flying. Now, one of the most important parts of this process, before I get into how we create the content, etc., was that we actually had one project manager that manages all the project, the data, and keeps everything flowing. So we have one VA that's creating content They'll make sure they're quality checking the content, following the SOP, that all the checklists are filled out, that we're tracking all the data, et cetera. And this is really important, I think, because a big part of making sure AI works for SEO traffic is quality checking all the content and making sure it's actually half decent. On top of that, if you've got someone following an SOP, sometimes people forget things or they go on autopilot or you need to reset the expectations in terms of quality. So that's why having a project manager is really good. And for our AI SEO websites, we actually have eight of them. And this project manager manages all of them in about an hour a day. So you can make it really, really fast if you get the process streamlined. Basically, all the project manager needs to do is make sure, right, have we published enough articles? Okay, great. Have we built enough backlinks? All right, perfect. Are the articles indexed that we need to be? Is our traffic going up? If not, why not? And based on the metrics, you can iterate, you can change, you can improve your strategies, et cetera. 
And then we set up this job ad. Now you might've seen this job ad before, but it's very basic. If you want access to it, I'll leave a link in my free course with the whole job ad template so you can steal it from me. And this job ad basically gives everyone the SOP. So that's based on my YouTube videos. And then we tell them common mistakes to avoid. We also answer some FAQs plus how much you're going to get paid. And it's basically as simple as that. And then you just make sure people agree to the terms and that they've actually read or watched the SOPs. As simple as that. And we also gave them this training SOP, which you can see right here, which basically walks them through exactly how to create the content, the checklist to fill out, etc. Now, one of the best tips I can give you for hiring a VA, if you're going to get them to use this process, is to essentially look for an agency who has a big team of VAs who can create content at scale. Maybe you have a bunch of websites and you want to create 50 articles for each at scale, but then you have this agency but you only have one single point of contact. And that one single point of contact from the agency is responsible for creating all the content, quality checking it, putting it in the right process, et cetera. And this has been a big time saver. When I've failed in the past, it's because we've had too many VAs to manage, too many things going on, too much stress, too many mistakes, et cetera. And basically when you have a project manager and a virtual assistant in this process, let's say you're over here, you got your VA over here, and you got your project manager over here. And with this process, you've only got three lines of communication. And it's very, very simple and easy and stress free to manage. And that's much better for getting results. Whereas if you had to manage all the VAs and you didn't use an agency to do this, then essentially, let's say you've got six people on the team. There you go, six points of contact. They're all talking to each other. These guys are all talking to each other. These ones are talking to each other. And then it's all going to get very messy because of only three extra people in the team, as you can see. And essentially, if you have three people, everything's simple. If you have six people, six VAs, everything becomes extremely messy. And you go from three lines of communication to 15. It's a total mess. Wouldn't recommend it. Cost me a lot of stress in the past. And then every week, you give them 50 new keywords to create. You make sure they're low competition, high volume. They basically use this SOP to create content um, with a project manager who maybe you pay 10 or $15 an hour to keep the project running and organized. You can keep scaling your traffic, your content, your backlinks, etc. just like this. And that's the whole workflow. That's how it works. It's very, very simple, but it's very effective too. So what did I learn from this whole case study? Well, first of all, you can save your website, even if it's stuck or declining for years. And I was expecting to have to wait until the next core update before I finally got this website getting more traffic in. But just by simply throwing the whole kitchen sink at it, more content, more backlinks, more keywords, etc., the website's traffic and the amount of impressions it's getting is improving all the time. And that's within just four weeks. Normally SEO doesn't work that fast. And this was a website that was basically useless. I mean, the traffic had been declining and dropping for years with human written content. So this was a last ditch resort to save it because our human written content it was manually created, manually researched, etc. wasn't getting any traffic. But with a combination of autoblogging AI and the chat GPT 3.5 workflow that I've talked about, it's working so well. Now, the other thing that I learned is that simplicity is the best way. I mean, I've shown you already, but if you keep things simple and you just have three people on the team, that's way better than the 15 lines of communication over here. And this is the same reason we use chat GPT 3.5 to create content because then there's no need to pay for tools, to set up paid accounts, to share accounts, login details, etc. With 3.5, people can just log in, create the content, bing, bang, bosh, you're ready to go. And when you fill in a spreadsheet like this, which is also included in my free course, that's all you need to focus on. Just fill in those numbers every week. And if they're going up, great. If they're not going up, figure out why and fix it. Also, I would say that just a couple of backlinks that are high quality is enough to move the needle each week. So if you just focus on editorially added backlinks, then you're going to move the needle. It will improve your website's authority. And that's why this website has recovered so quickly in just a few weeks. And then just systemize and set up SRPs for everything. Should be a smooth, automatic machine. And that's basically it. Simple systems means it's easier to implement, means you get faster results and it costs you less. And that's basically how ChatGPT saved my website and how I 3x my SEO traffic in just 28 days. And I think it's quite fun. If you've got websites that you've just abandoned and you're like, I don't care what's going to happen to this website. You know, the traffic is declining, no traction. I don't do anything with it anyway. 
then this is just a really fun way to see what happens and experiment with it, right? Now, if you want a free chat GPT SEO course with the job ad, the SOP, the scorecard that I've talked about today, then you can get it for free in my chat GPT SEO course. I'll leave a link in the comments and you can get free instant access to it. And I'll also leave a link in the comments to my SEO mastermind in case you want some coaching and some more systems like this to improve your traffic and get more backlinks to your website. Thanks for watching.